the owner of this 2004 competition orange Mustang Mach 1 owned the car for 11 days and then they were hit by a stolen car and the car was totaled. This is one of 964 competition orange Mach 1s with the interior upgrade package and one of 914 competition orange Mach 1s with the 5 speed. So pretty rare car, very nice car, very desirable. Very sad to see it in this condition. You can see how bad the back of it's twisted. Both quarter panels are pretty messed up and the axle's twisted. This car probably cannot be saved. Uh, some people might go to extreme lengths to save this car, but the problem is you can see how inside the trunk the um, damage is so bad that the trunk well where the spare tire is is twisted as well. And I have seen cars like a GT350 recently that was smashed in the back pretty bad and they actually pulled that out even though they couldn't get the trunk area straight again. They still did repair a GT350 so anything can be fixed but in this case the car probably will not be saved. The car has 126,000 miles on it, so even though it was in great condition, it's getting higher in mileage, which makes it less likely that the car would be saved. If this was a 2,000 mile car, somebody might think that it's worth saving and fixing, but this car, unfortunately, is a little higher mileage, and even though in great condition, it probably won't be saved. That being said, the engine was in great condition. They said that the maintenance was always done. This is the good 5-speed engine that has the forged crankshaft. Automatic Mach 1s do not have the forged crank, but this is a 5-speed car. And so this engine will probably be sold and live on in another car. It had a K&N intake. You can see some hood pins there, which I'm not a fan of. So the shaker hood will probably be sold, and it will have holes in it from those hood pins, unfortunately. But a good-looking car, the shaker system, everything on this car is still valuable. The interior looked really nice for the mileage. Very nice seats and uh, even the IUP headrests you can see there. I was noticing that the seats do look like they have a little bunching by the stripe section on the sides and to me that looks like they've been recovered and according to the ad this was a car that had the interior redone. Those are probably TMI reproduction seat covers and it was only a couple years old like that so uh, the seats looked great, so somebody will probably be getting some nice Mach 1 seats. Um, they're reproduction ones, but I've heard that TMI actually had the contract to make the original seats for the Mach 1s. So um, they're remaking them now, and so I'd say that's as close as you're going to get to original seats in such good condition. But again, really sad to see such an awesome car getting hit by somebody who had a stolen car. I believe the owner of this car said that they had paid somewhere in the, you know, close to $10,000 range for the car and now they're just trying to get 65 out of the car being that it's totaled and there was no insurance coverage from the stolen car. So um, I don't know what they sold the car for. I haven't seen it anymore. I hope they got some good money for it, but you know, a car like this is going to have to sell for its parts and hopefully somebody will buy it and use the parts and they'll live on. Now you never know what's going to happen. I would love to find out that somebody bought this car and fixed it no matter uh, how much money they spent or if they did it themselves or whatever they had to do. It would be nice to hear that the car was fixed. So thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video even though it's a sad video but here is documentation of another Competition Orange Mach 1 gone. So thanks for watching. Stay tuned for more Mustang content.